Hello to all. Today we are starting a chapter related to the human physiology and that is the digestive system. And in this digestive system, first of all you must know the definition of the digestion. That what is in real sense the digestion. So the digestion is a process by which the complex form of the food is converted into simple form so that it can easily be absorbed fine so how we will define digestion the process of conversion of complex food substances to simple absorbable forms is called as the digestion now the question arises that how in the process of the digestion the complex food is changed into simple form so the process of digestion is carried out by mechanical and biochemical methods. There are certain mechanical means as well as there are certain biochemical means found in our body which is responsible for this digestion. Okay. Now you must know that in digestive system what we have to study. So the two important things what we have to study in this system is the elementary canal also known as the digestive tract and we have to study the accessory digestive glands. Are you getting? I can say that digestive system is equal to elementary canal plus the accessory digestive glands. Okay. Now you all know that in human beings, in human beings, a complete elementary canal is formed. And in human beings, the digestion occur in the elementary canal. The digestion occur in the elementary canal. Fine. And we are having a complete elementary canal. Now the question rises that what is a complete elementary canal? So an elementary canal is called as complete which extends from the mouth to the anus. We can say it as that elementary canal is a tubular structure which, which extends from the mouth to the anus. Okay. Now two things more to be studied here that what is the length of the elementary canal. I have seen that in various books the data is given for the elementary canal are different different. So exactly the elementary canal in the case of the human beings is approximately 30 feet long it is how much 30 feet long and you must also know the origin of the elementary canal so the elementary canal develops from two embryonic layer one is known as the ectoderm and another is known as the endoderm are you getting one is the ectoderm and another is known as the endoderm. These are the two embryonic layers from which the elementary canal develops. Now the question arises in mind that which part of the elementary canal arises from which embryonic layer. So remember this thing that from mouth up to hard palate, the part of the elementary canal from mouth up to hard palate develops from the ectoderm and the part of the elementary canal right from the soft palate up to the rectum the part of the elementary canal right from the soft palate up to the rectum originates from an endoderm and the last part of the elementary canal that is from the anal canal to the anus from anal canal to the anus the Elementary canal develops from the ectoderm. Is it clear? And you must also know that the elementary canal consists of the following parts. The first part of the elementary canal is the mouth which opens in the buccal cavity. Don't be confused. Buccal cavity is also called as the oral cavity. Fine. So what I want to say? Mouth opens into buccal cavity. And the buccal cavity opens into the pharynx region which is found in the throat region. And the pharynx opens into a tubular structure 
known as the esophagus and the esophagus opens into uh, another sac like structure called as the stomach and the stomach opens into the intestine fine now the intestine is actually dividing into two portions one is known as the small intestine another is known as the large intestine okay now the small intestine consists of three parts one is known as the duodenum the second part is known as the jejunum and the third part is known as the ileum are you getting the small intestine consists of three parts duodenum jejunum and ileum and the large intestine also consists of three parts cecum colon and rectum cecum colon and rectum and rectum ultimately opens out through the anus so we can say it as that the alimentary canal consists of mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine which ultimately its rectum parts opens into the anus is it clear so these are the parts of the alimentary canal and now we must also study in this digestive system the accessory digestive glands without studying these digestive glands our digestive system remains incomplete okay so there are three types of the digestive glands one is known as the salivary glands which are found in the buccal cavity and in human beings the number of the salivary glands is three pairs fine the second one is known as the liver we know very well that this liver is the largest gland of the body it is the largest gland of the body and the third one is known as the pancreas which is called as the second largest gland of the body it is also treated as the mixed gland fine so these are the accessory digestive glands right so in today's video we have just discussed that the digestive system is composed of the two things alimentary canal and the accessory digestive glands all these parts the various parts of the alimentary canal the three types of the digestive glands we will be studying in detail in the coming days by my videos so keep watching and at the last of the video i have also given the screenshot of this video so you can maintain your notes thanks a lot for watching me